Uh, Myron, would you say that the ultimate goal of the After Hours, uh, where are we at here? Of the After Hours show is it teaching men about female nature? Is it trying to change a woman? Is it pure entertainment? I would say it's about letting you know how women really think, guys. Um, yeah. Not really change because I, I doubt any of the girls here on the panel are going to switch their lifestyle up and listen to any of the advice that we can give. They're yeah. not really. So it's really about y'all understanding that women are going to prioritize their career over you. They're going to prioritize, you know, living their life, etc. What's and best for them. It, what's best for them. And that's kind of what it is. And you just need to know these things. I think people perceive the show what best suits them as well. So maybe for fun, might be serious. It depends on who's watching. Yeah. So. So, uh, what else do we got here? Uh, shit and bricks. And ladies, do any of you guys have a question or a topic that you want to bring up on the for show? Nick, or? For us, for yeah. dating, lifestyle. You guys feel free to... Well, um, so, are you guys going to have multiple wives? Or just one oh. wife? That's actually a question I wanted to hear. Yeah, Myron. and I, You were talking you, about you think you should date multiple girls? Yeah, you have to. Why? why? Um, I, I hear, I'm, as a man, like, I get it. Like, I'm in a relationship. Like, there's always, you know, temptation, like... You, it's tough to think, you know, dating one. I get that as a man, but I, I, you don't, you don't think eventually, you know, you just want that one girl that you have that, that thing with. Okay, the reason why, and there's a psychological reason for why you have to have multiple women. But if I'm gonna uh, simplify it, and ladies, you don't get offended by what I'm gonna say, but what I'm saying is based in biology and how women operate. Women are very selfish, and what I mean by that is they're always looking for the bigger, better deal. They're looking for the best guy that, that they can get with their beauty. And the only way that you can really ensure that the woman feels like she's getting the best deal is she needs to know that you're valued by other women. And the best and most honest way to display that is by having other women in play because it keeps women on their toes and it keeps them competitive and it lets them understand that their place isn't necessarily secure. Once a woman feels secure with you and she feels like, oh, this guy's not going to go anywhere, that's when disrespect begins. That's when she starts to wonder, hey, do I really have the best guy here? Um, he's kind of letting me run around him and whatever. But when you have other women in place, she understands that her position isn't secure and she's going to behave and act the best way that she can. And you have to do that to deal with female psychology where they always want the bigger, better deal. I have a question also because I feel like yeah, the man. woman that... Really? You, you disagree with that? Go ahead. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it depends on man to man, different men. I do agree with you mm -hmm. that other girls, when they come up to you, they validate you. Because I've been, you know, I've been out and like girls will come up, what up, and then like the hottest girl in the room wants to talk to you. Then I get that. Mm -hmm. I get, yeah. you know, other girls validate you. But I don't think you need to have all of that to to keep a one one girl, one loyal girl. I think if you're, if you know, you're the guy, you're a confident guy, you are, I think you're going to be yeah. fine. Uh but social proof is, is very important. It, it, it works. It works. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does work. Yeah. What you're saying is true. But I think to have a real genuine relationship, do you really want to do you really want to be talking to all these other girls and setting the tone for your relationship? And who knows? Then she's probably talking to other dudes too. But if you just come in there and set the tone, that's not how it's going to be. It's going to be you and me, and that's that. No, because the reason why she won't talk to other guys is because when a girl's chasing your validation and she knows that she's competing with other girls, she won't have time to talk to other guys. That's that's true. But that's that's one way of going about it. You don't think that's unhealthy? No, not at all. Um, okay. I mean, because I, I, I'm up, not saying I, it's wrong or I, just, I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. But I, I just have the girls I understand become where friends. you're coming from. I, understand I, where I have the from. girls become friends too. I introduce them to each other because that is crazy. if, if, if uh, <laughs> holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Because, and, and it works because what ends up happening is I vet the girl for a period of time and then I introduce her to another girl I'm dealing with. Well, they have similar ideals because I'm dealing with them. They're both not hoes. They both have some type of moral value, et cetera. And they end up becoming friends. Um, do you think long term that's going to work out? Uh, well, or, or do you think you're going to go find a whole new pair of girls after that, that that crashes? You know, the thing is, is it always going to last forever? No, nothing ever lasts forever. But the point is, is that it's a system that works and it, uh, and it keeps girls on their toes. It keeps girls loyal to you. It keeps girls submissive. It lets them understand that their place isn't necessarily secured. And that's when people tend to work the best. If you have a company, right? And you have a sales company, right? And you have a bunch of salesmen working for you. And it's a competitive nature where everyone is competing. Well they know that their place isn't necessarily secure and they perform the best. But whenever people know that they're tenured and they can't be fired, that's when they behave poorly. This is why women, a lot of times after they get married, they stop giving their husband sex, they gain weight, they get fat, they get loud, bitchy, crass. The only way that you, you, you as a man, you have to maintain the leverage with women. Because when the woman has a leverage, she's going to punish you for it. If you maintain a leverage, you can at least control and dictate how things go because men tend to love idealistically versus women love opportunistically. Yeah, so you need to be the I, I best understand. opportunity for her. I understand what you're saying. And maybe it's situational. Maybe it's it's different opinions, but it's kind of you know what this reminds me of. It kind of reminds me. I, I don't know if you ever watched the the podcast that Dan Blazerian did with 
with a uh, full send, but he talked a lot about this. And yeah. He said eventually, like, yeah. he realized it was it was horrible for his mind and, and didn't work out, and he regretted it all. And it was, it, it, I, 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 I just wonder if ultimately. Well, well, no, we spoke with Dan about this very topic, and he he was he's big on like he understands that like social. I, I understand is everything. too. I think it's true. I think it's a hundred percent true. I've seen it happen. Yeah. So many time after time, I just feel like, damn, it sucks that you can't be happy with just you and that one girl. Nah, man, because no. men men aren't monogamous by nature. Like, like you're always gonna want to have other girls. Like, you'll eventually get bored of your chick. I mean, some guys can do it, but in general, most guys typically want more than one girl. Normally, now is there some guys that like I'm cool with one girl for sure. Yeah. But most men, if given the option, would you rather have one girl or two girls? They're always gonna go with two girls if there was no consequence. Most guys are monogamous because they have to be. The girl will leave them. They'll ha- have an earful. That's why they cheat in secret. But I'd rather just be honest about it. Like, hey, I'm going to have multiple girls. You'll never be the only one. It's just not how it goes. I feel that. I think, you know, I, I respect whatever. If that's what works, that's good for... Uh, I've noticed it's the best for keeping girls um, attracted to you, keeping them in line, keeping them submissive, keeping them in their feminine... Uh, and, and competition is very healthy. And most girls go through life without thinking that there's a competition, if I'm going to be honest. Because we kiss girls' asses and tell them that they're princesses, when in reality, they're, they're really not. Most <laughs> girls are very Asagi. similar... And fairly useless, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do that. I just couldn't do it. It is work. I ain't yeah, gonna yeah. lie. It is work. Yeah. Because you have to, you have to maintain frame with multiple women, and you gotta obviously be focusing and keeping yourself up and stuff like that. Yeah, you but, got a day job right there, man. That's a, yeah. that's a lot. But no, I, I I get it. I think it does work. I think what you're saying, the logic of it, works. I just, for me, I just couldn't. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's yeah. not easy. But I think once you, as a man, make that choice for yourself then you're good to go. But again, what's easier, what's harder, is up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. Really, I think it's, it's up to you. That's true. All right, what are your ladies' thoughts on this? Agree, disagree? Misogyny. I think that if you're talking to multiple people, you're single, but unless you're in a polyamorous relationship. Polygamous relationship, you mean? <laughs> yeah. So, technically, they're just your hoes. They're not all your girlfriend. Uh, well, you have, there's different levels. There's, there's the main girl, then you got side girls, then you got hoes, yes. So what, how does the girl become the main girl? Or do you meet her and she's already the main girl? And you uh, have your sides already there? No, no, no. Uh, main girl has to go through a vetting process. So how does she get there? Uh, I typically, six months to one year of vetting. Uh, I do a background Courting? check, make sure that she's not a slut. Yep. Uh, hoe facts. You know, facts. do get the hoe facts. Mm-hmm. See how much value she adds. Is she a good girl? Is she a pain in the, is she a pain in the ass? Is she not? Is she obnoxious? Is she loud? Whatever it may be, there's certain things that I'll d- disqualify her on. And if she meets the requirements, like yeah, I'll elevate her to 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 a main girl. And <laughs> I just—it's like working at a company. You know what I mean? Like you, if you want to get promoted to a certain position, you have to have those job qualities and those job requirements in place for me to elevate you. Right. So is your future goal to have? One superior? No, nah, I would have I would have a couple. You need at least two to three. Or four. Or four. So, but like you said, at the end of the day, that works for y'all. It doesn't work for him. So it's like, it's a case-to-case basis. It's case-to-case and yet, case basis, that's fine. I mean, I, but I do agree with you. The vast majority of men do prefer the lifestyle that you are explaining, but... Not everyone, and I feel like that's the same for women. It can go both ways. I, I'm not saying there's not temptation. or No, women you know, just want one guy. That they love and girl, Yeah, girl, girls don't are not naturally, uh, you know, polygamous like we are. Like, anytime I've seen a girl and she has, like, multiple dudes she's talking to, each of those guys is missing something critical. Maybe one guy has money, but he's really boring and annoying. Maybe one guy is extremely charming and charismatic, but he's broke all the time. Maybe another guy is really funny, but he's ugly. So, anytime I see a girl dating multiple guys or dealing with multiple men, those men all have something that she likes, and she has to compartmentalize them in a degree. But... Preferably, most girls would want one guy that has all of those traits in one so she can sleep with and get the emotional stimulation from one guy. Yeah. But men don't operate that way. A girl can give me everything and fulfill me as a girlfriend. I'm still going to want to fuck other bitches. That's why a girl that's promiscuous is completely like, you don't respect that because we know deep down that women want one partner. And if you think about it, he's being honest up front. Hey, this is me. He's not going by your back. You know, you say, you know what? This is who I am as a man. Take it or leave it. And I, I respect it. That's why I'm single. So how do you find a girl that has all of those traits without feeding her like a fantasy 
because I look at it like this. Girls who truly respect themselves and, you know, they're a virgin and all of that, they're not going to even want to talk or look at a guy who's out being with multiple women who's in front of their face. Like, I'm going to talk to other girls. You're going to sit and do what I say. And if you stay here longer, I'm going to marry you. So just deal with it. And their par- those girls' parents won't even allow her to have a conversation with, like, men like that. Uh, you're incorrect. And the reason why you're incorrect is because women have different attraction requirements than men do a guy that's out there and dealing with women has experience is attractive i feel like you're talking more on like different forms of relationships and almost more like religion than you are a monogamous relationship i'm talking biology women value experience men value inexperience so you think that a family with a good little innocent girl is just gonna hand her off to a man that's like i'm gonna fuck bitches stay home and do what i say if you're successful enough and you have the status they will they will overlook that shit if but you, are you if gonna you... marry them first <clears throat> well i mean that might be a requirement for her family to give her over but like reg- regardless if if you have enough money and status a lot of people are gonna just shut the hell up and accept it well where are the girl where are the guys finding girl the guys with money and status where are they going to find girls that's a good question. Um, they're going abroad a lot of the times, if I'm going to be honest with you. Myron, I have a question for you. Yeah. Would there ever be a situation where you were like, damn, man, fuck all the other bitches. I just want this one. <laughs> nah. There would never be. No. I think I, one day there's going to be one that you're like, what the nah. fuck I, I mean, I, the, But here's the thing. Like, nope. I have a main girl. And <laughs> like, she gets certain you know, situations that other girls don't get, right? And obviously, like, I care about her. But, like, other girls aren't necessarily going to get that. But your men are always going to want to have multiple women from a, you know, sexual perspective. That's just how it is. I agree with that. And, you know, a- as a man, like, you know, I'm like, fuck, like, you know, you see hot girls, whatever, you're like, fuck. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, man, I just, I think there's going to be a day where you find a girl and you're like, this is the one, this is it. You know, I do have nah. this temptation. <laughs> I think it's going to happen. And I, I think it is too. You can text me, yeah, you can yeah. call me. And, nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, and the reason why is because even if I wanted that ideal, it would never work in, in, it sounds good on paper, but it would never work in practice because women don't respect men that can't replace them, unfortunately. I think you're going to find it. I think yeah. you're too practical. <laughs> I think you should just live. I'm too practical. <laughs> no, no, I see what you're saying. I'll I see what you're compliment. saying. I completely uh, get it. I completely get it. But. Yeah. I, I mean, think I think all men cheat, but it takes a real man to put all of his desires to the side. A real man? Yeah. And put all of his desires oh, to the side. What does that even mean, a, a man real man? Will, oh, will shit. will change for the right woman. <laughs> See, it's easy for women to sit there, and, and I always laugh when Who girls say this, right? Um, you? <laughs> when, not kidding. I always laugh when girls say men, real men put their desires to the side, etc. Like, I mean, can you really, I mean, this is a perfect a time for the candy store analogy, but I don't think women are in a position to tell guys to put their desire to the side. They're not. I it's, agree with that. I agree with that. It's the man's choice to say, hey, I value this girl. I don't want to put her through emotional stress. So... I'm going to take my desires and put them away man, to... fuck our feelings, man. Okay, so what about your desires for dating a man who's uh, six plus, has money, status, looks, career, education, personality, all of the things you require of him to have to even consider dating him? What about all the stress it took for me to become attractive in the first place for her to find me attractive? The stress of building a business, the stress of earning money, the stress of going to the gym all the time, the stress of getting my masculinity on point and being a confident, ambitious leader. What about all that stress? I do agree. Because, you know, I value this guy. You know, I don't want to put him through all this emotional stress because I'm a real woman, right? So I guess it takes a real woman to put all of her desires aside, right? Only something a real woman can do, right? What is you putting your thing in other girls' equate to that like because i had to go through an enormous and tremendous amount of stress to be attractive for you in the first place to even give me a chance so and for, so you did all of that and you still need to go have sex with other girls to feel yes. accomplished it's not about feeling accomplished it's about being able to do what you want when you worked really hard to earn it okay so you want would it would you rather have a girl that okay See, I'm gonna either be way you you're here. gonna hold on, hold, on, hold on stop you're 19 years old right yes You've really not accomplished much, right? You're a kid, social media, whatever it may be, right? Your life is on easy mode. You were able to make a social media profile, mark your sexuality, and make money from it. Men never get that opportunity. True. You live life on easy mode. Yes. So therefore, you can't dictate to someone who lives life on hard mode how to enjoy the fruits of their labor when you got everything handed to you just for being a female. Mm-hmm. 
So I, that's why I always laugh at women that say, oh, well, put your desires aside, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're not putting your desires aside for what type of man that you want and what the type of man you demand. And you didn't even earn that. <laughs> Yet you want me to reel in my wants and desires when I actually have to work to even be able to enjoy these desires in the first place. Well, I, if a girl's your want and desire, then you should want to fulfill her like emotionally. No, you said and you not. should want to. He's telling you what he wants to do. So you're just because you. <laughs> see, you know, I, I agree with him. I agree. He's I, telling I you as a man, this is my choice. Yes. You're telling him as a man, do what I say. Can you imagine you're telling your man what to do? Would you no. Even, would you even like respect I wouldn't. him? I think if a man. That's, ha that's the whole point, though. I think yeah. if a man has goals, work, wants to work out, has every their career, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone should have any say in them not doing that and focusing more. On them if that's what they have going on they got to do that i've been in relationships before where a girl has told me hey like oh if you go chase your dream in la or do this like how am i gonna i'm like see ya like if they, if they tell me not to do that i, I think in that situation you got to do you I, if it comes to other girls i, I don't know about all that i'll leave that to you it, but it just sounds more like you're speaking in terms of a platonic relationship than like emotional feeding relationship like hey you do this i do that it's not platonic at all because a platonic relationship is non-sexual well, I didn't really, I don't know how to explain it. No, I, I agree with what you're saying because like if the roles were reversed, I'd want the same for me. And it's like, if you invested all this time in yourself, why would you de like degrade your standards just because you're dating this girl? Yeah, like, I she's mean, not respecting you know, where you're coming from. Privilege is always invisible to those that have it. And women don't understand. People can get angry at me for saying this, but women effectively live life on easy mode. They really do. Like women, there's no burden of performance on females. Like y'all can just be attractive and be on a yacht with a couple millionaires. And maybe you might meet a guy that might take you serious and give you a relationship and marry you one day. We don't get that opportunity. We have to be us. We have to pay to be on that. yacht. We have to have some kind of status to get invited. Like you're able to get into clubs for free, etc. What women don't understand is that these social situations that you get into for free just for being a female creates enormous opportunity for you to better yourself. We don't get these opportunities unless we are the best version of ourselves. That's the difference. You can better yourselves while being a loser. We have to be the best version of ourselves to get the opportunity that you guys just kind of laugh at. To even get kind of respect. Yeah. Men have to acquire competence, right, and accomplishments to get the confidence to even be attractive in the first place. True. I feel like there's a man who cheats and doesn't let his girlfriend find out, and then there's a man who cheats and lets his girlfriend find out. But both, partner, but both parties have to become competent to some degree to be able to cheat in the first place. That's what you're missing. But again, I don't expect you guys to understand this because you live life on easy mode. Who gives me, a fuck about male struggles? I get it. Who cares? But the reality is, is that you guys have a bunch of opportunities that we would never get. That's true. Like, yeah, I mean, like, look, you, look what kind of content do you make on TikTok? Let's use you as an example. No offense. Dance. Uh, I also do interviews, skits. Mm -hmm. All right. So a bunch of retarded content. Fantastic. <laughs> But you're able to do so because you're female. People don't necessarily care about what you say. They care about the looks. Oh, wow, yeah. she's attractive. And then you're able to market that, push them over to your OnlyFans, and boom, you make a bunch of money. We can never do that. Yeah. Men have to bring some type of substance or some type of entertainment value to get an audience. Yeah. This is why if you look at the top creators on YouTube, which is longer form content, it's all male dominated. But what does that have to do with- if you look at TikTok, with... it's female dominated because it's shorter form content. What does that have to do with sex? Like you, ha you, you being able to sleep with multiple women. Because a component for a man to be sexually attractive to women is to acquire a bunch of different things in place to be sexually okay. attractive in the first place. True. So you're saying you feel... It's not I feel, I know. Or you like having multiple women because it makes you feel good. It's not about that. The, the, I mean, obviously, yes, there is a, a point of enjoyment in it. But the, also the other thing is that it keeps women in line when they can be replaced. Is it for you or other people, though? What do you mean? Is it for me or for other people? Because you're like, I accomplished all of this. I want to get with all of these girls. But you still want the girl. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm trying to. Back. I, think, we go. I think you're trying to sell not required. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just proves it right there. You can't even ask me a proper question. Oh competence is not required for females. Like, and you do interviews too? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and you do interviews man. too. So it's Bro, like, oh, come on, man. You know? so, I get lost in conversation. <laughs> And you do interviews. Wow. 
Yeah. There you go. I mean, and you made it. I, I couldn't have timed that better, could I? Nope. Boom, <laughs> I feel like your brain broke. Uh, and I'm not saying that to like shit on you or whatever, but I'm trying to say that there's a clear divide between male like uh, standards and female standards when it comes to competence. No offense to you, right? But you're, you're telling a grown man what he should do with his life. That to me is ridiculous. Like, I'm just seriously. more trying to understand because I even agree that men should be able to do whatever they want. So then why are you telling him what he should do with his life? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you I'm, just did for two, 20 I'm, minutes. So. <laughs> like, you should be able to do this. I'm asking like... My feelings. But a real man. But a real man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, this is a... Uh... So do you care about your girls? He does. Obviously. Of course. Okay. If she's a main girl, of course. So whenever you look at them in the eyes after <laughs> they're like... <laughs> Oh, God. I, you cheated on me. You're doing this. Like, that doesn't make you feel bad? Nah, because if I wasn't already accomplished, you wouldn't even date me right now. Like, you wouldn't even consider dating me. So, just having that at the back of my mind it just makes it that easy. That doesn't make you feel bad? Because they know what I do. I'm not running around like, hey, I fucked some See, bitch earlier today. He's being honest. Yeah, he literally Most has a guys social platform. Will sell you a dream, yeah. Yeah. wink, 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 and then you bleed the dream, and then they go behind your back and do shit. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I know that. Yourself. But uh, yeah, you know, it's just part of life. And once again, I feel like honesty goes further than just lying behind, you know, your back. So. Yeah. Well, that's why most guys like because most like girls can handle it. Most yeah. girls who are gonna, ex- to. most yeah. girls who are gonna accept cheating, I feel like they're insecure. Not insecure, but the things they want, my their intentions aren't pure. You know, if they're like, oh, he's going to cheat on me, but, you know, I have that Gucci style. Who cares? Like, no. Well, who wants that? Like, I want... What about forgiving but, someone you love, though? Huh? Even uh, if they cheated that. on you. Well, if you really love mm, someone. Nah, man. If they cheat, you got to be out. See, yeah, sure. the first relationship I was no, in. No, I think girls got to stay, bro. Three years. What? Girls got to stay, man. I think man. your guy's going to stay. Listen, listen. What? The girls got to stay. If a guy cheats on a girl and he's a good dude, you oh, better stay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I see. If, if a girl well, cheats, yeah, you that, leave. If a girl I, I cheats, you leave. Yeah, if a girl I think cheats either way, on you. But I, I, if your girl cheated, no, would you stay? If my girl cheated? Yeah. I'd be out. I'd never talk to her again. <laughs> Ever. What if it only happened one time? Hell no, bro. And then she learned from I'm just no, saying. No, no, dick, no. Once a cheater, nah, always nah, a cheater. Question. Yeah, Come on, one question. One okay. If she was working a scene, would that be considered cheating for you? Hell yeah, bro. No, okay. I would never allow that. Okay. Ever. No, no, no. The balance needs to be restored in some point. You don't think it's fair? Well, there's a lot of things in the way that women operate that are definitely not fair either, so...